Today was the final day of not just the RC44 Virgin Gorda Cup, but also the 2015 RC44 Championship Tour, hosted by Yacht Club Costa Esmeralda. So far we've seen close racing as the teams made their last bid for glory. To kick off the regatta was a battle to decide the 2015 RC44 Match Racing Champion. Deservedly, this accolade went to Brennaneset Sailing Team, who led from the start of the season and sealed the deal here in Virgin Gorda. Personally for me, as I said, it was the last dream I can do to win match race when we started. <laughs> and now we, we win, we have became stronger because we know we can. On to the fleet racing and the standout performer this week was Artemis Racing, having led from the outset and entering into the final day with a six point margin. But the Swedish team were looking over their shoulder at Peninsula Petroleum, who hit their stride in the latter half of the event with five consecutive podium finishes. Today was to be the decider. The fight for the overall championship title was an all-Russian affair, with Team Nika and Brennaneset Sailing Team in first and second place respectively, separated by just one point. The results today decide the overall champions, a fierce battle amongst friends it was sure to be. Well, I'm feeling strong. Actually, I can lose, of course, and uh, to lose to him is less painful than to lose to anybody else. The situation is a dream to have my big friend, my first competitor, and if he wins, I will be happy. We will, we will celebrate together. Tense three races followed, Brennaneset Sailing Team and Team Nika were locked in their own private battle around the course. Team Nika got one up on their rivals in the first race, finishing second with Brennaneset's close behind in third. Meanwhile, Artemis Racing and Peninsula Petroleum were fighting it out for the event title. Race two saw an incredibly close finish between Brennaneset's and Team Nika both knowing that this could determine the 2015 RC44 champion. It was tight, but Team Nika were first to inch over the line. Brennaneset were able to beat Nika in the last race, finishing ahead of them in the regatta, but tying in the overall championship. Team Nika's success in the RC44 Qashqai's World Championship broke the tie and brought them the 2015 fleet racing title. I didn't know if we were winning to the very last moment because I couldn't count in my mind. I tried to sail the boat normally. Brennanosis was ahead, but we are winner overall, <laughs> so that's very nice. Still contending for the event title, Artemis Racing were aiming to hold on to the top spot. It wasn't an easy day for the Swedish team, but they had done what was needed to take home the trophy. I think that we, 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 it really came together and uh, we had uh, certainly three very good days. Uh, today was a little bit perhaps nervy, but it was enough. But uh, we've been sailing well, good speed, good tactics, of course. It's a tricky course and uh, yeah, it just all worked when it was needed. So the 2015 RC44 Tour has a new deserving champion in Vladimir Prosikin and his team Nika in what was a fiercely contested season. With a leaderboard that demonstrates just how competitive this fleet can be, it's no wonder that the teams are eager to lock horns again in 2016.